in the previous videos we have learned about functions in kotlin so before proceeding further i would like you to solve uh, the problem this this problem which says that write a function which compares two numbers and return the maximum of two so uh, one way of doing this is uh, using if else statement and the control statements so uh, we don't know that for now so what we will do is we will use a function max in kotlin.math.max library so how to access this library and this function so for accessing this library and this function what we will do is we will import the library so i'll use the keyword import and then uh, write the name of the library kotlin.math.max now the library is successfully imported so uh, what this max function does is it uh, takes input of two integers and returns the maximum of the two okay so i'll just go ahead and create a main function and then outside the main function i'll just create a function and name it as maximum now what would be the input of this maximum function the input must be two integers uh, so i'll name the integer one as a and the integer 2 as b so i have provided two input to this fu maximum function now uh, what would be the return type of this function so the max function provides the maximum integer out of two integer so the return type would also be an integer now i'll just use the math fun max function which is max of a comma b okay so inside the main function i'll go ahead and print the maximum and uh, maximum of 13 and 25 okay so when i run this program what i will find is it prints the maximum of 13 and 25 which is 25 okay so uh, kotlin has many such libraries which would be used further and uh, it would make our task very easy instead of uh, using long codes i just used a uh, library and its function and it become it, it became very easy okay so the code is compiling and it is starting okay so i have run my previous code uh, just a second i'll run test.kt and yeah it prints 25 which is the maximum of 13 and 25 okay moving further just i'll comment it out okay moving further in this video we are going to particularly particularly focus on arrays so uh, arrays in kotlin are mutable but have fixed sizes so uh, suppose i declared an array of uh, uh, let's say four elements so it it is going to be of four elements at every time we cannot add or uh, delete an element from it although we can uh, change the element change any element from an array so uh, data structure that contains a group of elements mostly of same data type are arrays okay so it is not a foundation that the the data the elements must have same data type but yeah mostly the elements have the same data type commonly used to organize data so why are arrays used basically when i have uh, 20 integers suppose let's say so i have to store 20 integers in one variable so what i'll do is i'll create an array so in that way the data is more organized now uh, the string is an is a collection of characters or we can say that it is an array of characters okay so it is different characters and they are combined together so it is it can be also called as an array of characters so what is the syntax of uh, creating an array so just like we create any variable we use the var or val keyword and then we will give the name of array and naming 
array is same as naming a function or a variable okay then we will write the fun uh, keyword array of and we will specify the type if any and then we will write the elements okay so now let's just go ahead and create an array so i'll write where array one and i'll write the keyword array of now uh, suppose i have to create an array of characters so i'll provide the type care and now i'll provide the elements so i'll provide a uh, b c d e okay so we have now successfully created an array which contains five elements and all the five are the letters a b c d and e okay so uh, what if i have to create an array which contains a uh, integer a character a and a string and uh, and a boolean so i'll just go ahead and create an array of all type of all type so i have named it and i'll just use the cre uh, function array of and i'll just so it contains an integer and uh, double and boolean a uh, character and a string so uh, the variable array of all type is an array which contains an integer and an uh, a, a float point number a, a boolean a character and a string okay so uh, now we have now we can successfully create any array moving forward in kotlin once you declare any array you can only change the content of the array and not the size as i mentioned earlier so the size of this is fixed until and unless i change the size from here okay the size is fixed i can change the elements of an array however but i cannot change the size of the array okay so now let's just copy this code and just understand that okay so the code says that there is a variable array one that is an array of a b c d and e okay uh, and there is an array two which is a value and that is a array of e f g h and i okay so when i do array one is equals to array two so array one is a variable and that can be uh, reassigned so that that uh, that is reassigned a value of array two so that can be done but this this line shows an error why this line shows an error because array 2 is an value so we cannot reassign a value okay so that's why it shows an error moving forward uh, so yeah there is a value array 2 and which contains the elements e f g h and i so however we cannot reassign the array 2 we can change the elements of array 2 this is a major point to note okay so we have already understood array with different data types okay so arrays are mutable but have fixed sizes as i already said and so uh, what if i have to print any element of an array so suppose i have to print uh, the third element of array one so uh, what i mean by third element is the the first element the a is the zeroth element okay as as we done the indexing in the uh, string similarly the indexing is done in the arrays so when i have to print the third element of array one what i'll do is i'll just write array one and open a square bracket and write three here and when i run this code 
we can see that the third element of array one is printed okay there is a problem okay so uh, when i run this program we can see that the third element of array one so what what happened here is i reassigned the array one as array two so the third element of array two is printed here uh, e is the zeroth f is the first g is the second and h is the third so i'll just delete this code and again run this code so i'll find the third uh, element of array one that is d okay so now what if i have to reassign the the third element of array two so we will try it on array two because array two is a value so i'll just type array two so i'll just reassign the zeroth element of array two as a string re assigned now it shows an error so what error does it show that uh, there is a type mismatch so it was an uh, uh, it was an character and now we are reassigning it as a string so that is not possible in kotlin so what i'll do is i'll just reassign it with a character and now i'll print the first element of array the zeroth element of array 2 so now when i run this program i can see that r is printed so even in a value even in a value of an array the 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 element of an array can be reassigned even if it is a value not a variable okay so that's all for this video stay tuned for 